Okay, so now we're going to create our Ether paper wallet uh, or your Ether online wallet is, is completely your call. Um, so same as before, we open up a new incognito window. Um, let's open it over here. And what you need to do is go to myetherwallet.com. Again, always double check the the, the um, URL. So it's HTTPS and it's myetherwallet.com. Okay, so all is good here. Now this is a lot simpler than the Bitcoin ones. Um, and all you need to do is you simply, to create a new wallet, you type in a password. So let's say I love cookies, create new wallet. Now, what I tend to do is I open up, I quickly get a new notepad out. Uh, whoopsie, um, uh, where have we gone? Okay. Um, and just whilst you're doing this, I'm going to type in I love cookies so I don't forget. And you simply download this key store. So, this key store file is imagine it's like um, a key for a, a, a padlock. Okay, it's like an electronic key for your padlock. So, you simply download that and it'll download down here, it'll open up a window. And what I tend to do because you're you're they, they can very easily get lost, especially if you open up a few of these. I simply drag it onto my um, desktop. So if we go, so here I've simply dragged it over here, so I know where that is, and and then I understand. So now it will give you your private key. So this is the thing which you need to be, you know, guard with with your life, so to speak. Um, for just this example, I'm simply copying and pasting it onto this empty notepad here. And if you wanted to print a paper wallet, you simply print that and this is what you get. And you simply print that and it will have your, your public address. So this is the address where you can send your, crypt, your, um, your cryptos to or your Ether or ERC20 token cryptos to or anything which is on any crypto which is on the Ethereum net, uh, platform. Anyway, that's your address and that's your private key. But we're not gonna do that. Um, we're simply gonna keep it as is. So we've got that and yeah, save your, your address. So now that is your um, address. So that is your um, thing, your, your, your uh, Ether wallet saved. And what I tend to do is I will create a new folder and let's say this is for, I don't know, my Ether wallet. Um, I'll put in, ETH, uh, create a new folder called ETH wallet. I'll put the key store in there um, and I'll make sure to store this very carefully. Now, so that's how you create your Ether wallet, but it's all very well creating it. You need access to it. So if in the future you, um, you want to send, or you you want to send ether from this to somewhere else, etc. You need to get access to it. So, what you do is you go back to myetherwallet.com, and you'll you'll see the, this page like this. And what you you basically do is you sort of re-upload your your access details to this. So, if I want to send ether and tokens, you click that. And how would you like to access your wallet? Now, you can do it a couple of ways. You can either click this. And then you simply upload your um, your key store, and then it will ask for your password. And that this, by the way, is the best way to do it. Um, so here, you simply type "I love cookies" or whatever that password was, and then you can unlock it. In fact, before we do that, um, and also don't forget, you can also just paste your private key in here. But it's not a good habit to just paste your private keys everywhere. So it's much better to upload your key store file, uh, type in your password, and then unlock. And there you go. So you hit, here it is. So you have your account address here. I've got to save that. Again, put it on your thing here. And you've got your private key already, and make sure you save this somewhere very secure. You can print that, or, or you, you could have print off the other other thing, but yeah, you need to secure this. 
Um, and here, yeah, so basically if I had some ether here you can, and you wanted to send it somewhere, you put the address in there, how much you want to send, ignore the gas limit, and then generate transaction. Boom. And we'll, we'll talk about this on later videos, but you can set my ether wallet um, can store more than just ether. It can store a whole bunch of different um, tokens. As I said, any crypto which um, is on the Ethereum platform, it can have. So obviously it's not showing them at the moment. Here we go. Yeah. So it can store all of these different cryptos. There's a lot of them. Um, so, but yeah. Anyway, hope that helps and uh, I'll see you in the next videos. Toodles.